welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'm going to talk about Dry eye disease alters how the eye's cornea heals itself after injury. People with a condition known as dry eye disease are more likely than those with healthy eyes to suffer injuries to their corneas. Studying mice, researchers at Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis have found that proteins made by stem cells that regenerate the cornea may be new targets for treating and preventing such injuries. Dry eye disease occurs when the eye can't provide adequate lubrication with natural tears. People with a common disorder use various types of drops to replace missing natural tears and keep the eyes lubricated. But when eyes are dry, the cornea is more susceptible to injury. The researchers analyzed genes expressed by the cornea in several mouse models, not only of dry eye disease but also of diabetes and other conditions. They found that in mice with dry eye disease, the cornea activated expression of this gene SPARC. They also found that higher levels of SPARC protein were associated with better healing. The team conducted single-cell RNA sequencing to identify genes important to maintaining the health of the cornea and they believe that a few of them, particularly SPARC, may provide potential therapeutic targets for treating dry eye disease and corneal injury. They note that these stem cells are important and resilient and a key reason corneal transplantation works so well and if the proteins we have identified don't pan out as therapies to activate these cells in people with dry eye syndrome, the team may even be able to transplant engineered limbal stem cells to prevent corneal injury in patients with dry eyes. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.